All right, everybody, welcome back to my Verbling classes. Uh, this hour, we are going to be focusing principally on reading. Uh, I have a short story that uh, I want to uh, work through with everybody, and at the same time, we'll be practicing our, our uh, pronunciations. But my main focus here is principally going to be, be reading and, uh, and using our, our, uh, our English, working our mouths in, uh, in the form of speaking, uh, speaking English, okay? Uh, let's see. Uh, Cherry, how are you? Hello. Hi, how are you doing? Yes, Tyke, I'm fine. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. And uh, yes. Cherry, Cherry, where are you from? I'm from Vietnam. Vietnam? This is my first time here, yes. Do you know Vietnam? Uh, I don't. I don't. I hope to one day. That would be great. No, yes, welcome to Vietnam. All right. And uh, <laughs> is your, is, do you pronounce your name Sherry or Cherry? Cherry. Okay. And uh, yeah. um, and what, what do you do? Are you a student or do you work? Yes, I'm a student. And, and what do you study? Uh, I'm busy in it now. Uh, say, that, say that one more time. What are you studying in the university? Uh, I have studied uh, business, no. Okay, so business? Is that what no. you said? No. No. Hmm. Can you type that in the chat box for me? Yes. I have right. your education. Yes. All right. Oh, business law. Got it. Yes. Okay, so it's that that L sound, business law. Okay, that should be that should be uh, an an interesting um, uh, an interesting degree to get. So, um, it, are you going? You get your law degree, right? Are you going to be a lawyer, or you're going to study business law to help businesses um, with their legal matters? Yes, it is very difficult for me. <laughs> okay. All right, very cool. And uh, let's see who else we got. Hi, uh, Ivana, how are you? <clears throat> which, which one is Ivana? We have, we have two there. Hello. All right, welcome, welcome to class. Uh, let's see. Nicholas, how you doing? Nicholas, uh, make sure that your microphone is not muted. All right. Daniel, how you doing, man? Daniel, can you hear me okay? All right. Let's see if we can get some microphones working. Anybody else have their microphone working? Uh, let's see. Lauda. Hey. Lauda, can you hear me okay? Yes. Awesome. And Lauda, where, where are you from? I'm from Spain. From Spain. Now, is that, uh, is that you in the picture here? Are you rollerblading? Yes, I am. Very cool. Very cool. And, uh, and do, you like, do you like to rollerblade very often? Yes, three times that week. Okay, very nice. And uh, what uh, what part of Spain are you from, Laura? Mm, central part of Spain. Okay, the central part of Spain. And uh, and, and what do you do? Are you a student or do you work? I I don't work. You know, crisis, <laughs> economic. Yeah, the card. Yeah. Okay. Um, but uh, but what is I'm, your what I'm is your Okay, you're studying. Teacher. Okay, very good. Well, welcome to class, Laura. Uh, let's see, Thank Nicholas. You. Nicholas, yeah. did you get your microphone working? All right, cool, yeah. man. <laughs> how how so, you doing? Where Where are you from, Nicholas? Okay, I'm from Buenos Aires, Argentina. Okay, very cool. What part of Buenos Aires? Um, uh, no, it's just a city called San Martin. It's San Martin near okay. the capital city. Yeah, I've been I've been there through uh, San Martin. I used to live in Buenos Aires in uh, Chacarita. Is where I lived. Whoa, that's really good. That's yeah. Really good. So yeah. I was uh, I was over there close by. I was also in um, let's see, Del Viso, Jose de Paz, as well yeah. as uh, Parque Chacabuco. Parque Chacabuco. Yeah. And yeah. do you like it? 
Uh, I loved it. I loved Argentina. Argentina is an awesome city. Yeah. Um, yeah. Now, um, what uh, are are you a student or are, yeah, are you working? I'm a student. I'm a student, and uh, I'm studying uh, English translation. Okay. All right. And uh, is there a university there that you're going to? An institute uh, An called institute. Lenguas Vivas. Yeah, Lenguas Vivas is the name of this institute. Okay. Very cool. Very cool. And uh, let's see, uh, let's go to Sarah. Sarah, how are you? Fine, thank you. Very good. Now, Sarah, I, I remember your name, um, but uh, it looks like you changed your pic your picture here. Where, where are you from, Sarah? I'm from Spain. From Spain, okay. And what part of Spain are you from? I'm from Galicia. Galicia, all right. And, and what do you do, Sarah? Are you a student or are you uh, um, working full-time? I'm a worker. I'm a restorer. I repair all furniture. Oh, really? That's, that's yes. pretty cool. Yeah, my, yes. uh, my, uh, my mother uh, uh, enjoys restoring old, fur old furniture. She's been doing that for, for quite some time. It's one of her uh, favorite, uh, favorite hobbies to do. Now she's starting to sell her uh, the, the furniture and things like that that she fixes. Um, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, very cool. Good. Very cool. Well, yes. uh, welcome, uh, welcome back to class, Sarah. Uh, Thank let's, you. Let's see. Uh, now is this uh, Tayed? Yes. Great. Uh, did I pronounce your name correctly? Is it Tayed or Tahed? Tahed. Tahed. Well, okay, with the accent at the very beginning. And, uh, and and where are you from, Tahir? From Tunisia. Say that one more time. What country are you from? Tunisia. Oh, from Tunisia. 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 Yes. Got it. Okay. Very cool. And uh, are you a student or do you work? Uh, I'm a student. All right. All right. And what uh, what are you studying? I study arts in school. Okay, and uh, what kind of art do you do? Uh, it, do you draw? Do you paint? Uh, are you a sculptor? No, I mean culture, arts. Oh, okay, so art. This so gotcha, gotcha. Okay, very cool. Well, welcome, um, welcome to class. It's good to have you here. Thanks. So, tired from uh, from Tunisia. Okay, and uh, Unai, how are you doing? Fine, I'm fine. Good. Now, um, uh, correct me if my if I'm wrong. Uh, Unai, are you from Are you from Chile? No, no. Dang it! <laughs> I'm from from Basque Country in Spain. Ah, see, and I was thinking Spain, but I was like, no. I remember a guy named Unai, and I I believed he was from uh, Chile. Okay, so you're you're from you're from Spain. All right. And uh, yeah. okay, remind me again, Unai. Uh, what uh, What do you do? Are you a student or do you work? No, I am an employment, and I am studying English and German. Okay. And then I am making a course uh, about life work. Okay, and and so instead of saying making a course, we would say I'm taking, I'm taking, taking a course. Okay. 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 All right. Very cool. Okay. So Unai from Spain. All right, and let's see, uh, Van. Van, how are you? Hi, I'm I'm great. Thank good, you. good. Now, Van, uh, you are from Thailand, is that correct? No. Damn. I'm from good. <laughs> I'm, from I'm not Vietnam. doing good this hour. I am not yeah. doing good. Okay, so yeah. Van is from uh, uh, Vietnam as well. Yes. All right. So, remind remind me about yourself, Van. Uh, you're so you're from Vietnam, and uh, and what do you do? Um, I'm working. I'm working. Okay, and where where do you work? Um, I'm working for <coughs> network, network, networking. Okay, so uh, networking, so uh, uh, building computer networks. Okay. Yes. All right. Very cool. So Van from uh, from Vietnam. All right. Okay. Cool. And let's see. We've got uh, Alessandro. How are you? Buongiorno, Chad. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. So uh, apparently you were you're from uh, Italy. Is that correct? Yeah, correct. I'm Italy. I'm uh, I'm studying Faculty of Commerce. Very cool. 
Very cool. <laughs> so, and uh, apparently you, you enjoy jazz music, is that correct? Yeah, I love jazz. That's right. Nice. Um, do, you, do you play an instrument? Uh, yeah, I have now a Spanish guitar. I started a Spanish guitar, but uh, I will I will buy a, an electric guitar uh, within weeks. So Great. I'll start doing, uh, Great. Some jazz so, lessons. are you uh, so are you learning uh, flamenco style? So using uh, using your fingers to play? You know, actually, I'm I'm starting with with the basics, uh, um, with basics uh, practice test only to to make my fingers more smooth on the on the neck. Oh, okay, the gotcha. But I don't have right now on the Spanish guitar. I'm not. Uh, I'm not learning any uh, special uh, genre. Okay. I'm just making my finger more smooth in order to, when I got the electric guitar, be able to, to, uh, to learn uh, jazz. Yeah. the The good thing. Uh, the good thing about learning on a uh, on a on a Spanish or classical guitar um, is that it really stretches out your hands. So, yeah. for me, between my my thumb and uh, uh, so when I when I play, actually, it's it's these two fingers here. I have a uh, I'm at a seven seven fret stretch is what I wow. what I can do from my finger to my pinky, um, wow. and so and that's from because I learned how to play on a classical guitar. Now when I play yeah. on uh, a, like a small neck or uh, or a uh, a uh, electrical guitar, so it's electric guitar, you. it's it's really easy. It's really easy. <laughs> So, yeah, actually, if I, okay. the, the, the Spanish guitar is it, it's its neck is enormous. I can uh, yeah. <laughs> maximum have five fret, five fret on, on on the neck, but seven yeah. fret must have a huge hand. Yeah, well, my hands are, aren't really aren't that big. It's just working working at, at stretching and holding them holding them apart, and then uh, and then figuring out how how to position them. Um, and it really has to do with your thumb as well. You need to slide your thumb down the back yeah. of your neck because if you're constantly trying to grip, grip the neck like this instead of yeah. bringing your thumb down. If you bring your thumb down, that'll that'll help you widen uh, uh, widen how far you can stretch. This is a so okay, cool. And then uh, Daniel, did you get your microphone working? Yes. Awesome. How you doing, man? I'm doing good. How how are you this morning, teacher? Uh, I'm doing good as well. I woke up a little bit later, but uh, uh, that's okay. I, I was supposed to go running this this morning, but uh, I stay. I, I taught last night until about mid. No, it's about eleven. And then uh, there's a. Uh, did we did we watch that last night? What's today? Today is Tuesday, right? Um, have we watched another TV show last night? I think it was The Walking Dead, but I'm not. I'm not sure. Anyway, there's a TV show that's called The Walking Dead, and we usually uh, uh, it's stay up so and watch good. it. <laughs> it's awesome. Oh, it's so good, man! I love it. Teacher, I I yeah. heard your your songs. Oh, were you able to hear it? Yes. Okay, cool. But I'm not. I uh, were you the guy who was uh, singing? Aquí estoy. Um, I'm I'm singing the backup. The backup. Uh, yeah. So there's um, uh, it's my buddy Sebastian here in in Alajuela. He's he uh he sings uh, he's singing lead, um, because my thing is you can you can tell when there's a gringo that's trying to sing Spanish, right? Yeah. There there's <laughs> sometimes there's sometimes when uh, even though I speak Spanish, sometimes it doesn't come out right. Um, mm -hmm. Like I put I put a stress on a vowel that that shouldn't be stressed. Now I, I I wrote the song. I wrote the song with my wife. She wrote the lyrics, and I wrote the melody and all the music. The music is is very simple. Um, it's very simple. I think I'm I'm capoed on on fret two, and it would be um, it's like E minor up into a uh, sustain uh, sustained uh, sustain nine D to a G. Um, mm -hmm. That's that's the basic chord in uh, in the verse, and then to an A minor C, um, or let's see. Do you know uh, the the letters, or do you go by do re mi fa sol la si do? Yes. Okay. Um, I I have to learn those here. Um, I know them, but I have to go through the the C uh, the C major scale to be like okay. So it's do re mi fa. Okay, so fa <laughs> instead of F. <laughs> but, so okay, or but, whatever but it is. But we use uh, the the. Okay. C D E F G. We don't oh, okay. use uh, do re mi fa sol la si. It's oh, okay. clear. Yeah, yeah. Because I I learned I learned with the letters, so it's a it's a really basic song. 
Um, but, uh, but yeah, I wrote the melody and, uh, I sang the backup. So, um, the guy who, who's singing, um, he, he's actually from, uh, from here in Costa Rica. Um, so yeah, yeah. yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I was singing the backup. So that the higher voice. Uh, okay. Okay. But cool. Well, awesome. All right, you guys, well, let's, uh, let's go ahead and get started. This, uh, this hour we're, we're going to be focusing mainly on, on reading, um, for those of you who don't know me, uh, my name is Teacher Chad. Uh, I do come from the United States, but I currently live in Costa Rica. Um, I learned uh, I learned Spanish when I was living in uh, in Argentina, um, but my my Castellano accent is uh, is uh, uh, almost gone. I still have a little bit left, um, and uh, I am uh, I am from uh, River, uh, so uh, if. Oh. Uh, if <laughs> I know it's it. It's fifty-fifty. Sometimes people are like yeah, other times people are like no, Boca. But uh, anyway, so anyway, it's just it's just uh, just a joke. So yeah, um, when I Nicholas, when I got to Argentina, the family sat me down and they're like, "All right, man, you live in Buenos Aires now, and you have to choose a soccer team." I was like, "I I don't know anything about soccer." And they're like, course, "You gotta yeah. choose. You gotta choose." So all yeah. right. Um, okay, you guys. So we're gonna we're gonna be uh, uh, reading a short story today and practicing our pronunciations as we read. All right. Uh, this is a a short story that I found online, and I'm gonna go ahead and put the the link here in the chat box if you don't already have it. Okay. So I just put that in the verb link chat. I'll put it in um, Google Chat as well. All right, so uh, that's that's the link to this sh to this short story. The short story is called "Last Dance of the, of a Black Widow," and um, uh, there, we're not going to be practicing any comprehension. We're just going to be reading through this and uh, and, and practicing um, uh, pronouncing and reading words in a short story format. Okay, um, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to start over on the left hand side with uh, Alessandro. And then I'll uh, go over to Van, and I'll work my way towards the middle, and then uh, back out again. Okay. So, um, when you open up this document or this link, okay, uh, this is what you're going to see. All right. So it uh, it has the the title here, "Last Dance of a Black Widow" by Bradley uh, Con uh, Converser. It's probably what it is. Uh, and down here at the bottom, do you guys see where these two arrows are at? Okay, with those yeah. two arrows, that's how we're going to turn the page. Okay, so we're going to hit, uh, we're going to turn the page right now. Okay, and we're going to go to this first paragraph. And I'll zoom in just a bit here. Let me zoom one more time. And Alessandro? Let me have you. Uh, let me have you start on that first paragraph, please. Yes, sure. With pleasure. So it's uh, Abby Whistler stood at the window for her hospital room, looking wistfully at the outside world. World. Everything she saw was painted in black and white, and delicate shades of gray. A bird, a cardinal, she believed, its color stripped from its body, was, fro was frozen in mid-flight. Only feet from the window, its graceful wings outstretched, outstretched and poised to beat the air if time ever resumed. The handful of people walking across the country yard were likewise stationary. Their bodies frozen mid-stride and mid-speech. It was like God had pressed the pause button on the wallet and, and then peeled away all the vibrant color that gave, that gave life and beauty to the earth. Good, good. So, um, what I'd like to practice with you is that TH sound. So, for example, on that last word, earth. Earth. Good, good. So, we're, we're, let's pronounce from where it says uh, vibrant colors, okay? So, we have the word that, that has that TH sound. Vibrant colors, that 
gave life and beauty to the earth. Try that. Vibrant colors that give life and beauty to the earth. Good. Much better. Okay. Um, all right. Let's go to Van. Let me have you read this uh, next paragraph, please. Me? Yeah, Van. Okay. Van? Okay, uh, Unai. Right. Okay, Van, are you going to read this next paragraph that starts with Abby? It's right here on the screen. You see that? Just that? Okay, uh, Unai, let me have you uh, read that. Read that next paragraph. Okay. Abby was aware of her corpse behind her, the fire. Cancer ridden body, body covered by a seat, but she preferred not to think of it. She was also aware of the two dozen or so black filaments that stretched from her back and found her chase through the seat in her body, but she preferred not to think of this either. neither. She wanted to admire the world, her world, for as long as possible, despite its aesthetic, lifeless appearance. Okay, let's practice that last word. The word is appearance. Appearance. Okay, let's try that one more time. Appearance. 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 Good. Much better with that R sound. Um, I also want to okay. practice the word sheet. I'm going to type this in the chat box. Sheet. Shit. Okay, give me a good I sound. We're going to use that Spanish I. Okay, we're going to say she, sheet. Shit. Okay. Shit. Okay, one more time. Now, what, what, uh, what you want to be careful with is if you use the short I sound in pronouncing that, that uh, E, it's going to sound like a cuss word. It's going to sound like you're saying mierda. Okay? So, um, yeah. uh, you want, instead of using uh, the short I and saying shit, okay, you want to say E, she, sheet. Try that. She, sheet. Shit. Okay, one more time. Give me a good E sound. She, sheet. Sh shit. Good. That's it. Okay? So, make sure we have that E sound there, okay? Um, okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Sir Chad, I want to tell uh, to ask you something. Uh, sure. Please, can you uh, can you tell me uh, in your opinion uh, what uh, human uh, uh, how human must uh, see uh, the life? I mean, how he must uh, uh, win uh, all the obstacles and difficulties uh, to achieve his goal? If you don't remind. Um, and and what uh, what is uh, this referring to? Tired? Are you are, refer to to studying? Uh, studying how how a uh, how a person is uh, would be able to achieve their goals. Yes, and how we uh, uh, must uh, he stimulate himself in order to win all the obstacles and difficulties, please. Um, well, I can I can tell you uh, what uh, what what I do and how how I'm I'm able to uh, to do things. Um, it, it, it really it really depends on on your personality and what motivates you okay um, I right now it, it, life life is motivating for me um, to be able to provide for my family okay and so I have I have three other people that depend on me all right and so I need to make sure that number one I'm healthy so that I can stay alive and make and make sure that my family is taken care of and so I do things like I exercise and I exercise uh, almost every day alright now if you're talking about how to learn a language and how I was able to learn Spanish um, I studied every day for at least two hours and then I went out and I practice okay I fell flat on my face almost every day okay um, and Argentines were not very um, 
uh, not a lot of times were they helpful, and it's not a knock on Argentines. I love the Argentine people and and uh, and, and the the city mainly because it, they were like, no, you don't say it that way. This is how you say it. Get out of my face. And uh, and so I was like, okay, uh, great. And so I would take notes. Okay, I always keep a notebook with me, uh, even when I teach classes. This is my notebook. Okay, and I, I make notes all the time on how you pronounce things and how I can better help you. And so if you're, if you're asking about how to better learn a language, keep a notebook with you. Recognize, yeah, that's right, that's right. Recognize uh, when you have a problem. So when I point something out, I'm not, uh, um, uh, I, I want you guys to, to work on it. Okay, and I'm not pointing it out to make you feel bad. I'm pointing it out so that you can better yourselves in, uh, in correcting the pronunciation. All right. Now, what it takes is when you set goals, you have to practice those goals every day. And because if you don't, if you if if you don't, if you and you're not completely serious about it, um, it may take longer for you to achieve that goal. All right. Um, uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. But uh, sorry, because I have uh, to go now. I can't. Okay. Uh, I can't. Uh, I can't uh, study with the the people now. Thank you. All right. Sounds good. Uh, and uh, uh, your uh, your uh, your uh, thinking is uh, very good. Thanks. Okay. All right. Thank you, Tayer. All right. Uh, let's uh, let's uh, go on. Let's go to um, Cherry. Cherry, let me have you continue reading yes. on this next uh, this next paragraph. Okay. That starts with sudden. Sudden. Okay. Sudden movement cast. Her attention and for a brief moment, Abby cast a flash of her deep lesson in the window glass. The woman looking back at her 15 years younger in vibrant young creature full of beauty and potential lost her. the older broken woman. She has been as that last brow has instead of him. Was quarantine. Oh. Orange cor color knocks, white blue eyes, full of lies, promise instead of the watery, half grow eyes. She urged now, full is dressed. When you could bring, bring a man his, to his cleats, instead of red eyes, cracked and pinning to mud, you post us. Smoothed perfect skin, the pranker canvas of brown, instead of the wink, must be now displayed to the world. Okay, all right, excellent, uh, excellent uh, uh, attempt here. Okay, now, now, mm -hmm. uh, now, Cherry, I, I want to uh, help you with a couple things, and then the next time you read, I'm going to help you with a couple more. Okay, um, yeah. so first off, uh, I want to practice the B sound. Okay. Uh, this is the B sound when we when we pronounce the word b blank. Okay, so when I uh, when I pronounce and I put the word over in the uh, in the chat box. Okay, the B sound. So you're going to put your lips together. B bl blank. Try that. Blank. 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 Okay, good, good. Blank. Now, blank. Um, this this word here that I'm ch typing in the chat box, that K is going to be silent. It's not going to make a sound. So instead of saying KNI, yeah. okay, we say ni. ni. It starts off with yes. an N sound. Ni. Okay. K is voiceless. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ni. Okay. The K is, is silent. All right. Uh, I also want to practice with you the P sound. Okay. Into the T sound. So we're going to say pr promised. Prom promised. Yes. Try that. Promised. Okay, try that one more time. Promised. Promised. Good, good. Okay, and then I want to uh, I want to try this third line here that starts with at her fifty years. Okay, so I'm going to read that line and I want you to to repeat it after me. Okay, so I'm going to say, at her fifty years younger, a vibrant young creature, full of beauty and potential. Please read that line, okay? Yes, thank you. Okay, let me have you read read that line for me. Okay, so uh, please repeat that, Cherry. At her 50 years younger, 
a vibrant young creature full of beauty and potential. But I don't see the chest reading. Let's see. I just got crazy on it. All right, give me one second. There we go. That's the one I wanted. Okay, so do uh, you see that there? Okay, so it's going to be this line. At her 50 years younger, a vibrant young creature full of beauty and potential. Please read this line. At her 50 years younger, a vibrant young creature full of beauty and potential. Okay, give me a good B sound. B beauty. beauty. Okay, one more time. Be Be beauty. Beauty. Be beauty. Good. Okay. Now, whenever you see that letter, remember how it how it felt to pronounce that B. Okay, so you can say beauty and vibrant. Yes, okay. All right. Good job, Cherry. All right. Let's go to uh, Steve. Are you following along here? Okay, Steve. Let me have okay, you read. Steve, let me have you read. Let me have you read this have last read paragraph this here that starts with trembling. That starts with trembling. That's resignation. That's resignation. Resignation. There was no recapturing of yours. Good, good. Good, one, good, good pronunciations good here. Pronunciations I have here. one word that I want to uh, work on you with. To, uh, work on you with. This uh, this word this, uh, is this word reclaim. Is it has a long a in it. Has a long reclaim. A in it. Reclaim. Try that. Try that. Good, much better. Good, Thank much you. Better. Thank All right, you. so class, we're right, going to go to the next page. Go to the next page. So with these arrows here, go ahead and uh, click over. And let's uh, let's go to uh, Daniel. Let me have you read the uh, the first three uh, small paragraphs. So from even until world here. Okay. Okay. Even after death had claimed you, especially after that had claimed you, the sound of a door creaking open filed the silent room, followed by a gust of frigid air that made Abby shiver despite herself. Time to go, Abby, a quiet voice said, a voice that Abby recognized but hadn't heard in almost 60 years. She turned around slowly, noted that her room was defined by the same static black and white quality of the outside world. Okay, good. Uh, let's practice. We're going to practice uh, four words, okay? The first word is death. Okay, give me a good TH sound. Death. Death. Okay. Now, um, how you're going to pronounce that th? Okay. I want you to think of uh, la theta, la theta de, de los españoles. Okay. Uh -huh. Like they would say gra gracias. Okay. They they stick their tongue between their teeth, right? So we say the word death, and our tongue goes between our teeth. Try that. Death. Yeah, death. One death. more time, death. 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 Okay, good, good. All right, so that's the sound that okay. that uh, um, that you can work on. Now that's how you would that's how you would pronounce it. Okay, good. Okay. Um, this next word is filed. Okay, this has an filed. ed ending that sounds like a d. Uh, sorry, filled. Filled. Okay, good with that d ending. Filled. The next word I want to practice is your v sound. The word is shiver. Shiver. Okay, so uh, remember when we pronounce that V, 
Okay, your your top teeth are going to go right on your bottom lip. Shiver, 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 shiv. Make that vibration. Shiver. shiver. Good. So shiver, shiver. Shiver. Okay. Good. Okay. Last word is. Uh, oh, there it is. Defined. Defined. Okay, and this has an ed ending that feels like a or that sounds like a d. Defined. Okay. Okay. Good. Thank you. Uh, let's go to. Uh, let's see. Where are we at? Uh, Sergio. Sergio, I'm going to have you uh, read the next. Uh, this next paragraph here that starts off with uh, her father. Can you see that? Okay, uh, let's go to Nicholas. Let me have you read this next paragraph, starting with her father. Okay. <clears throat> um, her father stood before her. Uh, she had been just 15 when he had died of lung cancer, but his face had been burned into her memory, and he looked just as she expected he would. Dressed in the customary garb of a West Virginian coal miner, his overalls, shirts and gloves covered with a thick layer of charcoal colored grime and, and soot. Loose strands of graying hair picked out from under a gray hat, hat uh, perched on top of his, of his head. His face aged well beyond what his years should have demanded, was also coated with a thin layer of fat and sweat, giving him the warm, tired, yet prideful look of a man who knew he had a hard job, but one he did well. Okay, good. Now, um, Nicholas, I can tell that you've had some uh, British training in your English. Um, uh, are you, uh, do you want to keep that accent, that British accent? Uh, is it bad for you? No, no. It make, it makes no difference to me. It, it it depends on the the reason why I ask is because it depends on how I correct you. Uh, because if you say okay, yes, I, I'm learning more of a British style. I'll say okay, and I can lean off of uh, of some of the corrections because um, there's sometimes when we would say more of an er instead of a like the word better. Okay, we would pronounce that er instead of beta. Does that beta. make sense? Okay, that's how in in England they would say better instead of better, like we would say better. Okay. Yeah, so, I'm trying. I'm trying with the British accent. If you want okay. to make corrections, uh, you can do it. Uh, I, no, no. Yeah. Okay, I, that's that's what I wanted to know. Um, your British accent is is uh, is very good. Okay. Good Thank gracious! You. Why does that keep happening? All right, <laughs> let me try one more time. Here we go. Uh, right here. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> One last time. Ah, that's why it switches. Okay, here we go. Cool. All right. So um, on uh, the the only part I really wanted to work on was let's see. It is uh, six lines down. So where it says gray hard hat perched. Do you see that? Hold on a second. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That so let's uh, let's really... practice. Yeah, I know. I know. Let's practice that sentence. So we're going to say loose strands of graying hair peeked out from under a gray hard hat perched. Okay, so we're going to use an, uh, an, a T ending here on perched. Okay? Yeah, it's a like gray a... hard hat perched on top of his head. So let me have you read that sentence starting at loose. Okay, yeah. It's like a tongue twister. Uh, yeah. Loose strands of graying hair peeked out from under a gray hard hat perched on, on top of his head. Okay. All right. So when we when we say that D sound, hard hat. Okay. I want you to hard. think of that that Spanish R feeling. So like when you say ere. Okay. So we want to we want to say hard hat, a gray hard hat. Try that. A gray hard hat. Good. Hurt. Okay. On, yeah. Woo. Nice. So a gray hard hat perched on top of his head. One last time, and then we're done. Okay. Uh, uh all the. Uh, just that that gray hard hat okay. perched. Gray hard hat. Oh, sorry. Gray hard hat perched on top of his head. Nice. Good job. Okay. Whoop. Cool. Uh, let's see. Esra, how are you? Thank you so much, Dad. How are you doing? 
I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Um, uh, can I ask you to move a little bit closer to your microphone? Okay. Now, is it fine? Yes, that is much better. So, um, I want you to read right here where it says where. Okay, and I'm going to have you read all the way down to where it says don't I at least get a trial. Okay, so right here where it says where. Can I have you start there, please? Yes. Uh, where are we going, Dad? She asked, all of a sudden feeling like a little girl in her prison, inside of an older woman, older than he had been when he had died. I think you know where, Angel. That had been his name for her, Angel, because of... Um, Sorry. Because all of the doctors believed that she was saved by a debilitating, debilitating uh, respiratory infection shortly after birth, wouldn't survive her first three days on earth. But uh, by some grace of God, she hadn't only survived but three. Stood before her father. Don't I? Don't I at least get a trial? Good. Okay. I'm um, so sorry. I, I got excited too much. <laughs> oh, you're doing just fine. Don't worry. Your your Esra, your your R sounds sound really really good. Nice job. Mm -hmm. um, I do want to practice a, a a few things with you. Okay. So mm -hmm. here where it says devastated by a debilitating. Okay. Let me see if I can highlight highlight that real quick. Okay. So these words right here. Devastated by a debilitating respiratory infection. Okay, let me have you try the that that uh, that part one more time. Devastated by a debilitating respiratory respiratory. Okay, so okay, it's respiratory. Respiratory. Okay. Okay, one more time. Devastated by a debilitating respiratory infection. Devastated by a debilitating respiratory infection. Good, good, nice job. All right. Um, the uh, other sound is the th sound. Okay. We have the word earth. Okay. Let me have you practice that. Earth. Earth. Good. Much better. Okay. When you had read it, you you had said ert using more of a t. Just remember when that t and the h are together, we put our mm -hmm. tongue between our teeth and we say that th sound. Earth. Okay. Mm -hmm. Earth. Okay, so let's practice that th sound one more time, and we're mm -hmm. gonna we're gonna pronounce this word here. Uh, the word is thrived, thrived, thrived. Okay, thrived. Good. Okay, give me a give me a good r sound there. Okay, so instead of saying thrived and using a hard r, I'd like for you to say thr, thrived, thrived. Thrive. Try that. Thrived. Okay, thrive. getting getting much better. Getting much better. Nice job. Okay, okay uh, let's go to Laura. Laura, let me have you read uh, where, let me have you finish off this page, okay, where it says, uh, Oh, Abby, right here. Okay. Oh, Abby, you had one. The moment after you died, and he, he found the quality of your soul, making. I don't understand, she said weakly. Sure you do, Abby. The Alzheimer's may have screened around the memories toward the end, but you're dead now, and you know full well that you did. Okay, let's, uh, let's practice this word right here. Okay, this word is lacking. Lacking. Good, lacking, okay. This word right here is pronounced Alzheimer's. Alzheimer's. Al Alzheimer's. Okay, good. Okay, let's practice this word right here. Okay, the towards. word is towards. So instead towards. of pronouncing that W, we would just say towards. 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 Okay, one more time. Let's pronounce that D at the end. Towards. Towards. Okay, good. And so when we pronounce that D, when we pronounce that D at the end with a, that's followed by an S, our tongue kind of just hangs out up on top. We say towards, and it, and it kind of, pushes out that S. So we say towards. That's how that works. Okay, let's try that. Towards. Towards. There you go. Good. Good. Nice job. Okay, everybody. Let's uh, let's go back here. And we're going to click on this arrow. Okay, so we're going to go to the next page. And uh, Inga, I believe I saw you come in, right? 
Ah, yes. <laughs> Hi. Let me have you read this uh, this top paragraph right here, okay? Yes. Uh, Abby looked at the clock hanging on the wall opposite the bed. What cruel place to hang it, she thought, and had thought previously while she still lived, perched in a perfect position so that the dying could watch as the seconds of their life ticked away. The hands were frozen, like everything else in this gray place, and it would be 4.25 and 33 seconds forever here. She didn't want to look back at her father, didn't want to see the disappointment in his eyes, but she did, and it was with a sharp retort on her lips. Okay, good. All right, let's practice uh, a couple things here, okay? This word here, you gave, uh, you gave it a, uh, an E sound on that I, so instead of saying um, lived, you had said lived. So let's get a good short I sound, lived. Lived. Okay, one more time, Li lived. Lived. Good, much better. Okay, um, let's practice uh, the th sound here in the word everything. 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 Good, good, much better. Okay, now looks like someone has uh, a Nokia phone. Um, <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> we have we have that same phone um, or a, a Nokia. Uh, okay, so the, in this word here, um, that s uh, will not be pronounced like a like a Z, okay? You had said disappointment, yeah. okay? It would be a, an S sound. We would say dis, disappointment. Disappointment. Okay, good. All right. Uh, the last one is that short I, one more time, here on the uh, the word did. So instead of saying did, a D sound, we want to say di, did. Try that. Did. did. Good. Much better. Nice job, Inga. Okay, let's go back out to uh, Cherry. Cherry, let me have you read. Cherry, let me have you read these these two paragraphs right here. You see that in blue? Let me have you yes. read that, okay? It's on the pearl, you know. If you hadn't died, you couldn't have t turned out as the Abby, Abby's father check. But... Oh, I'm sorry. I it's don't okay. see. I don't see clearly. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're right. You're right here on the word "but." But the stern. Okay, but the stern expression never left his face. I think. I think if I hadn't died, you may have killed me as well, Abby. Okay, just till right there. All right, let's practice this word right here. Okay, now when we say this word, we want to start out with more of an ooh sound. Okay, so we, we want to say wouldn't, wouldn't. Try that. Wouldn't. Good, wouldn't. Okay, now this, uh, this word here is chuckled. Okay, with the, like, the, like your, your, your first name, cherry. Okay, that ch sound is going to sound the same. Ch chuckled, chuckled. Try that. Chuckled. Okay, let's try that one more time. Chuckled. 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 Okay. Chuckled. All right, so we want to pronounce a D there at the end. Okay, chuckled. 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 Okay, getting better. Nice. Okay, and let's work on this word here. The word is expression. 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 Okay, so here in the middle of the word with the uh, with the double S, we're going to pronounce that as a sh sound. Expression, expression, expression. Okay, one more time. Expression, sh. Like you're telling someone to be quiet. We say sh. Let me have you pronounce that sound. Sh. <laughs> okay. All right, so let me let me show you how what I'm doing with my mouth, okay? Uh, I put I put my lips together like this. I say, shh. Try that. It is okay. Beautiful. One one more time. One more time. We're gonna say, shh. Expression. Good. All right, so we're gonna say expression. Expression. Almost, almost. Okay, now that's a sound that uh, that you would need to work on. Okay, all right, good. Yes. Uh, let's let's go to uh, Van. Van, is your microphone working? Okay, ma'am. Hi. Yeah. All right. Very cool. Uh, let's have you. Let's have you read. 
Um, from here, let's see, Abby to the truth. Let me have you read those paragraphs, okay? Abby, okay. Uh, Abby's father chuckled. But uh, nope, son... the, the, next, the next paragraph down where oh, it says okay, Abby okay, felt. Okay. okay, Abby felt something horrible well up between her. How can you say that? She asked her voice very with a whisper. Whisper to inflation. I forever believe it is something to your brain. My patients would would have changed anything. You were had right to be a score sociopath, Abby. And if I had lived. Nothing would have changed. You can deny it all you want, but the truth is the truth. Is the truth. Okay, <laughs> good, good. Let's uh, let's practice this word here. We're gonna use that uh, that ed ending will be a t sound. So we'll say asked. Try that. Asked. 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 Okay. Asked. Good. Good. Okay. Um, and this word here. Anything. Okay, so we're going to practice the TH sound here on this word, anything. Try that. Anything. Okay, any anything. Anything. Okay, so we're going to stick our tongue between our teeth and we say thing, anything. Try that. Anything. Anything. Okay, al almost. So let's try that one more time. We're going to say anything. So your tongue between your teeth. Okay, stick your tongue between your teeth there. Any. Thing. Anything. Good, good. One more time. Anything. Anything. Okay, almost. Okay, so that that would be a sound for you to work on. Okay. Okay. All right, uh, Daniel. Let's go to you, and I'm going to have you read. Uh, let's see. Let me have you read from here down to here, please. <clears throat> They all deserve it. I didn't do anything wrong. No, her father asked. And he suddenly wasn't her father anymore. The older Diddy features replaced by the resplendent mm -hmm. aristocratic face of a much younger, much more handsome man. Then explained David Jackson, your first husband. Ben, the man you murdered after five years of marriage by poisoning his tea. Okay, let's practice this word right here. The word is deserved. Deserved. Okay, one more time. Deserved. Deserved. Good, good. Nice job here. Okay, um, I want you to practice. Okay, good job with the word resplendent. Okay, that was a good pronunciation there. Nice. Um, now, uh, give me a good Costa Rican R sound. Aristocratic. Aristocratic. There you go. There's my Costa Rican. <laughs> All right, aristocratic. Nice. Okay, and this word here with another ed ending. Murdered. Murdered. Yeah, murdered. One more time. Murdered. Murdered. Okay, good, good. Um, and uh, Daniel, here in the next uh, month, I'll probably do my ED endings class one more time, and we'll go over uh, how to pronounce those ED endings, okay? Uh, because your pronunciations are really good, but those ED endings trip you up every once in a while. Yeah. <laughs> okay? All right, let's see. Let's go to uh, Unai. Let me have you read um, uh, this next little bit right here, okay? moment he was okay okay he was an adulter Abby said her voice suddenly had his hardly a dam damnable offense David said with her father's voice the Bible says it is and even if it was it wasn't your place to enforce the Lord's justice he was sleeping with his secretary Abby argued in our marriage bed. Okay, good. So let's uh, let's practice this word here. Instead of saying adu, 
Okay, we're going to use adul. Okay, so it's going to be a short use. Adulterer. Adulterer. Good, adulterer. Adulterer. Okay, now this uh, this word class. Okay, we're we're going to stick an I right in right between the M and the N. So I would actually say damnable. Damnable. Damnable is offense. Damnable offense. Okay, good. Now this word here is Bible. Bible. Okay, one more time. Bible. Bible. Excellent. Okay. And this word here is argued. Argued. Excellent. Excellent. Nice job. All right. Who's my next Thank reader? Thank you. Uh, Esra, let me have you read this last paragraph here. Sure. No, Abby, he wasn't. And you knew he wasn't. You just knew that you were done with him. He grown born. In fact, it was you who were having an affair. So you poisoned him, chopped him up, buried him, and convinced uh, the authorities that he had run away with another woman. Good. Excellent, uh, excellent pronunciations. That sounded really good. Uh, I didn't. I didn't hear uh, any any real big issues. Your ED sounds sounded really good, and your R sounds, as well as uh, your your T's and whatnot. Excellent job, Eshra. Um, let's go to Steve. Um, all right. Uh, do I have enough time? Let's see if we can knock out one more paragraph. So we're going to go to the next page and over. Uh, Steve. Let me have you read uh, uh, this paragraph right here, please. Okay, uh, Steve, okay, I can, uh, Steve, I can, I can barely, I can, I can yeah. barely hear you. I can barely hear you at all. It's uh, you at all. It's, it, uh, it was okay at the very beginning, okay but it got beginning, worse as you started reading. Um, started reading. Um, um, I can't, I can't uh, understand your I words. I can't understand your words. In fact, I can, hear, fact, myself I can hear myself better in your speakers. Then, uh, then, um, uh, um, then I can hear you. In fact, I can, I can hear, hear myself, myself better, better in your speakers. And but okay, but okay. Um, um, we are we are just we are, out of time right now. Out of time right now. I do I do, I do apologize. I do apologize. But uh, we need but, uh, to. I need to move on to my next class. Next class. Let's see. Let me Let's go ahead and. Let me go ahead. Okay, so uh, my next class uh, is this next hour. I'm I'm actually teaching in a five-hour block um, this hour, okay, or th this time. Um, my next class is my grammar class. I'll be going over comparatives and superlatives, okay? We'll take a look at what those are, and then we'll do some practices. Uh, later today, I'm going to go back to this, uh, to this class of Last Dance of a Black Widow, and we can continue reading right where we left off. So if you guys want to continue reading with me, that would be great. Um, if not, if you guys got ever, other things to do, that's fine as well, all right? Uh, if you okay. want to follow me along to my next my my grammar class, that's uh, that's great as well. If uh, you got other things to do, it's cool. No worries. All right, all right. We'll see you guys. Bye. 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 B